y'all, my bad. This is gonna be part two. I accidentally hit a button and it stopped the whole video. But anyway, I was talking about school and I was saying how, you know, I got a grab bus loan in order to pay for school. Um, Staff requested. I'm about to get off the bus, Please then y'all will hear me better. And watch for traffic. Thank you. <laughs> I just slide through. Excuse me. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay. So, like I was saying, school is happening. I got a grad plus loan. <sighs> In order to do it um, I had a meeting with the chair it is a year program and after the program I'll be able to take the CPA exam um, so that's exciting I'm looking forward to school it doesn't start until August the end of August is their fall semester so I'm okay with that I'm okay with that. Um, <clears throat> you know, the enthusiasm is there. I feel like no one, you can never have enough education, right? Um, <laughs> you'll have all the student loans for them if you ain't paying out of pocket. But, you know, I'm excited. I still have a passion for accounting and, you know, it's what I want to do. Um, so like I was saying, I had a nice long conversation with my chair. And she was just pretty much telling me um, that like to start applying in the field now. She was like, you know, definitely get your foot in the door. She was like, you might get like an accounting payables or accounting clerk. She was like, even staff accountant, you know, that'll start you at 70,000 and they may, They may even want to pay for school. So that was like, you know, kind of where I was like, shoot, if I can find a company that'll pay for school, like that'll be what it is. And that was my whole goal anyway, right? Cause I don't want to get loans or have to pay out of pocket. So if I can pay or get loans to pay half and then find a job in the field to pay the other half, or just pay all of it, like, I'm there. Sorry, y'all, they doing a bunch of construction. Doing a bunch of construction. I'm walking as fast as I can to get away from it. <laughs> so yeah, so, um, what else is going on? <clears throat> oh, I have a <laughs> fertility appointment coming up and it's just the initial consultation for them to let me know like, you know, what they'll be able to do, what they can't do. But for the most part, I'm pretty much just going to go step by step. I am um, I'm pretty much checking to see how many eggs I have um, and then go from there so yeah in the meantime in between time I'm working on eating healthy, uh, being active, trying to be more social. Um, I had met this guy and we went on a couple dates. It was cool, but nothing there. Then I met another guy. <laughs> so we'll see. Keeping you know options open all that jazz um it's <laughs> dating is tough man 
like especially when you like I guess in your late th late 30s early 40s you know being single it's like this wasn't my plan in my mind I was supposed to have been married maybe 20 years by now <laughs> I had it planned like I was like I'm gonna graduate high school I had a boyfriend at the time um, who was a little older I was like graduate high school me and my boyfriend are gonna get married um, I'm gonna go to college like I was just doing it all and they say if you want to make God laugh make plans and I had all the plans clearly that hasn't happened like in my mind I was also <laughs> supposed to be done having children by now too so there's that we see where we are there and this guy that I had just recently met asked me he was like um why did you wait so late to have kids and I was like I don't think I necessarily waited late I just want to have them you know with the right person and I just haven't had the right person and um he was just like, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect man. And I said, I didn't say perfect. I said the right person for me. And he was just like, okay, kind of wasn't really like filling my answer, but that's just it. That's my answer. Like, that's just what it is, you know? Good morning, how are you? Good. I ain't been in the building in two days, y'all. I was supposed to be here yesterday, but I was tired and I was like, I'm gonna work from home. Luxury of being able to work from home. I absolutely love. Good morning. Yeah, happy Wednesday. Nice building. Getting on the elevator. Thank you. Good morning. Uh -huh. Beautiful day so far. Mm-hmm. So far. Thank you. What's this? I don't know what hey, it's supposed to do later you know, though. Good. Yesterday's weather was crazy. Oh, huh? I know. Though I loved it. I know. <laughs> I know. It's supposed to be like in the 90s now. Today? Not today. Oh, okay. The weekend. Oh, yeah. okay. I think from Thursday to Monday. I'm not ready for that. No. I, mean, uh -oh. I have to be Our outside. Our air conditioner in our house broke. Oh, oh no. I had it fixed last week. Uh, I need a brand new one, fortunately. No. Uh, <sighs> we become so attached to air conditioning. Yeah. We're going up. I'm really attached to it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I have some truth about it. I have one little air conditioner in all of my bedrooms. Have a good one. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> yeah, air is a must. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day. All right, y'all, I'm in the building. Here. 
Here go my little area. And let me get my laptop out because I worked from home yesterday. So my work from home days are, I had chose them to be Monday, Fridays and Mondays. I just needed a day yesterday and it was so nice working from home yesterday and I was just like I um hold on let me plug my laptop in I was just like I love working from home one second just like I love working from home let me see if I could show y'all my outfit of the day I was saying that girl losing again. Let's get it. So, yeah. Oh, it's 7 11. I'm early. I mean, my shift don't start till 7 30, but still. Alright, let me. Hey y'all. So I am tired. But yeah, so like I was saying, the guy, I don't think he really liked my answer. I guess because I wasn't agreeing with what he was saying, but like there is no such thing as a perfect guy and I notice the older I get the more I'm realizing that but I just want like the guy for me you know so like I was saying like um it's tough being single in your 30s like because the dating pool got this in it and liars <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know y'all like when I got my braids done I told him to give me a middle part which he did it's cute but I'm just trying to figure out how to work with it now I think middle parts only work with certain hairstyles I mean side parts only work with certain hairstyles So, I don't know. Um, I know that times are like different when it comes to dating and stuff like that. Because everyone's online or doing the online thing. And <sighs> mm -mm. But, I don't know. Like I said, I went on two dates. And it was nice to go out and get dressed up and stuff. And I didn't even take pictures or my outfit or anything, y'all. I was just kind of like enjoying the moment of like being out, you know, going out. Um, I, uh, that's something that I do want to continue doing, even if it's by myself. Like I want to start doing stuff by myself too. So <sighs> we'll see. Um, but yeah. I'm just, I'm here, <laughs> I'm just here, and thinking about, like, school now, and just my finances, and I started applying for accounting jobs, <laughs> um, like, my chair really, um, encouraged me to do that, 
Um, so I added it on the resume and just started applying. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. I really still have this like dream of making six figures and then I was like really thinking about that not so much about like will the dream happen or not I think that's up to me and God but just so much of um like if I say I want to make six figures I want to my goal is to make six figures after taxes like that's what I want when I say I want to make six figures I want to make them after taxes because yeah um, I started promoting my business again you know the budgeting and saving bit and um Budgeting, the budgeting and saving bit, helping people like write with publishing and stuff like that. Oh yeah, y'all new nails, new toes too. But I ain't gonna show y'all my feet. I really treated myself like I had only budgeted a hundred and so let's talk about it. I had only budgeted a hundred and eighty dollars, but I ended up spending like two eighty because I got my toes done. That was ninety, and. I went out that was a couple dollars not a whole lot maybe like um let's check my blood sugar maybe like 40 bucks so a little over 300 okay so we're at 138 which is good it's supposed to be 150 and under yay i got my water bottle here that i'm going to fill up got my protein shake this is supposed to be breakfast and look breakfast alone I am not to eat anything else after I have this so let's hope that continues because you know, I'll be feeling like I need two breakfasts or something um, and it's hot mass express so because your girl appetite sometimes it be high and then not so high but for dinner yesterday I had chicken and salad so very um that's what I'm trying to say not a lot of food um yeah I need to buy a bus card I didn't buy a bus card and I budgeted for the bus card and didn't do what I was supposed to do with it I think bus card money went in with my feet I gotta do better I, t I totally missed it and what made me what reminded me of it was um, what reminded me that I needed to get it is that this one expires June 14th which is Friday I think so Friday or Saturday, so I gotta get a new one. So yeah, y'all. Other than that, that is what has been going on. So you're gonna see two parts: the little three-minute part that I started, and then um, the rest. So. It's only 718 so we're doing good I'm gonna start right at 730 because they said they not paying nobody overtime so say less um, other than that the focus is getting ready for school getting my mindset ready for school and um, getting the mindset ready for school and permanent benefits <clears throat> and that's kind of it and you know 
hopefully I'll meet somebody worthwhile, you know, that is on the same page that I am looking for the same things that I want because I know that some, some men just say that and their actions don't reflect that. Not really my thing at all. Like, that's just, I don't know. And I'm such, like, an honest, open person, so I expect the other party to be the same way as me. But one thing that I'm noticing, you cannot expect you from other people a bar you cannot expect you from other people and that's where I go wrong at right and I'm like not too nice but like just I'm myself you know I'm loving and just affectionate and giving and generous and just you know all of the things so yeah anyway enough about me how have you guys been what's been going on have you ever felt like you've experienced financial fatigue within your finances and what does that look like for you all right y'all i am headed off i'm gonna fill my water bottle up and say hey to my co-workers as they trickle in and i will see y'all in the next video be blessed and have an amazing day bye